Materials you will need for making a paper gun. You'll need about 10 sheets of good paper, scissors, and some scotch tape. Now that we have all our materials, let's follow step one. Take one piece of paper, roll it like so. Now this is the barrel of your gun, so you want them to be about even. Tape it up on each end. And in the middle. To make your second barrel as close to even as possible with your first, you wrap your second one around your first. Pull your first out. And they should be pretty close to even. Tape this one the same way. Now that you have both barrels for your gun, you need a third piece of paper. What you do is you wrap this around both barrels. To keep them together, you need to do it pretty tight, but not too tight so that they cannot move at all. But you don't want them jiggling around by mistake. You want them to be able to move at will. Should be good. Tape this like you did with the barrels. Three pieces of tape, one on either end, one in the middle. Did do this a bit loose, but it will be fine. Next is the gun handle. Pretty simple. Just roll it like so. To the length you want and the width you want. How I like to do is I like to judge it by the hand size and make it just a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to cut some off there. And tape this up. Three pieces of tape, one on either side, one in the middle. Now that you have your handle, you want to attach it to your main gun at about this spot. You need four or more pieces of tape. Attach it. And Alright, so now you have the base of your gun. Now we have to create the firepower. And my favorite, the ammo holder. That makes it look a lot nicer. You have to do this based on the size of your bullets. Everybody likes to make bullets their own size, weight, shape. I'll show you a basic bullet after this, but you just roll it up. Taper down. And attach it right there. I like to cut mine pretty short. Just gonna retake that there. To attach this to the gun, my favorite way to simply take pieces of tape, fold them like so. So they're sticky, all sides. Just attach three to four of those. And 
and attach that to the gun, right, like that. Kind of looks pretty cool. Doesn't hurt. I will be making a video soon on a uh, scope. All right, now let's get this thing some firepower. What I like to do here is see in there how it's a little bit loose. Is I like to tighten it up. Once you've got it tightened up, we're gonna have to uh, build a bullet for this, eh? All right. I will show you a quick bullet. Just take yourself one piece of paper, cut it to the size you want. I'm just going to do a pretty small one. And you need to f roll it so that one end's pretty loose and the other end's pretty tight. turned out way bigger than I wanted it, so I'll just shrink ray that. It's a pretty big bullet. Tape it. And tape over the end here so that the air can't escape when you're shooting it, because that's what it's all about. You may want to weigh it down a bit for maximal power. Depending if you're trying to hurt someone or just play a little game. Now, as you can see, this fits in here. You just pull it out when you want it. Put it in the back of the gun. And stick with me for a quick test fire of this. Now, I make a quick modification to the bullet. Smaller. More weight the size this should make it shoot farther once you've learned how to build a pretty decent gun after that it's all about building a good bullet which can take lots of time test with new bullet